Happy Sunday, guys, and welcome to the venue live. My name is Roger Ramirez, and this is Houston's first online live performance venue brought to you from r, &R Studio. Today, we're in the studio with David Cote. Did I say that right? Yes, sir. Awesome, dude. Well, welcome. Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Uh, we talked about a month ago about making this happen, but uh, we finally got you in. Uh, uh, and so, uh, are you having a good Sunday so far? Yeah, I'm very excited, a little nervous. and uh, A little nervous, yeah. 
I'm I would not. be fucking nervous too if yeah. uh, if I wasn't your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you got a beautiful place, man. I love it. Thanks, this. man. That's why I was so inspired to ask you and reach out to you because Bobby Tapia told me about you. Bobby, I saw your stuff online, man. It's just beautiful. Bobby is a good friend of mine. We always take take selfies when we see each other. <laughs> He's always giving me shout outs. So shout out to Bobby, man. He's got to take selfies so he remembers seeing you after after you hung out. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, so where are you from, man? Originally from the West Coast, Arizona. Um, I grew up in Phoenix, and then we actually, my dad transferred up north, and I lived in the mountains on the Indian Reservation for a few years and um, have a pretty diverse childhood. Moved out here 25 years ago to Dallas to help my uncle out, uh, running an organization in Dallas, uh, Big Heart Ministries. And um, he's passed away now. Um, I've moved on. I've worked at Delta, UPS. Um, I tried to quit the music you thing a, a long time ago. No, no, I wish, I wish. I oh. wasn't a driver for UPS either. I was a loader unloader. Oh, cool. But, um, so so what got you into music man like have you all have you always played music and what think, inspired you to to be like i want to do music um i just owe it to my parents for buying a little piano like when i was a kid i don't know yeah, if you've yeah. ever seen those little tiny baby pianos yeah. with a little bench and um the they would be watching tv and i would be trying to play the music on it so i would i'll kind of replicate the sound figuring out like I the think, melodies and stuff i think um what was it Sylvester Stallone, Rocky was the first song I ever played. Dun, 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 oh, yeah. dun, dun, dun. And then uh, that my parents came over, and my mom says I played Chariots of Fire. I doubt that ever happened. <laughs> if you hear that story, it's a lie. But but she, you know, says I was over yeah, there playing yeah. Chariots of Fire. <laughs> I wasn't. You know, it's funny how that that because I've heard that same story multiple times. That you know, when people, when people start getting into music, mm. they'll they'll play some some like amateur instrument, but they'll be playing melodies. And so that happened to me as well. Whenever my dad gave me a recorder when I was little, I was sitting there like playing just any melody that I could think of. And mm. I'll be like, look, look at what I'm doing. And yeah. so I wonder if that's how like musicians start just by playing, picking out little melodies yeah. that they like. You know, that's exactly. that's a uh, sounds very familiar. Just everybody always has that yeah. kind of story whenever they begin. Long story short, man, I think it just passed on to now. Now, when I hear a cool song, like, unfortunately, I heard some great music the other day and I looked it up and it was somebody I'm not going to say right now. But uh, somebody you know. A little close there, guys. Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was Post Malone. Anyway, um, <laughs> and I looked it up and I was like, no, nah, I can't sing this. I can't perform this live, but I wanted to replicate that melody. I liked it. It moved me. It's catchy. But then man. you got to have the words, you got to have the melody. But a mus- as a musician, you, you're really just echoing something you love, you know? Like, unless you're just faking it and hacking it, you're really hearing something and you're reproducing that because you love it, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's, I think that's just kind of hopefully carried on through my years. And Yeah. And when did you start uh, writing original music, man? By the way, I like your original music. It's thank pretty dope. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, you have a good voice. Thank you. If I you haven't heard him, that. you'll get to it today. We, uh, no pressure. Yeah, we, we had a good time, man. I recorded that album in 2010 with some good buddies of mine, Heath, Jason, It sounds great, Jackson. by the way. It sounds great. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, they kind of pieced together. Un- unfortunately, I don't have a um, very organized schedule in my day. It's hard for me to write songs unless they just happen. You know, like, oops, there's a song, and that's exactly the way it's going to be. It's Otherwise, it's going to be three, five years, ten years down the road until I finish it. It just seems to be like it just mm-hmm. happens or it doesn't. I've sat down and tried to write, and I've never been happy with anything. So my writing has always been an accident or just a replication of, like, a pain I'm going through or a hope I'm feeling, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. or emotion that mm-hmm. I have. Um, couple, for example, um, Something New is the name of the song on the uh, album. And me and my buddy recorded it live in my apartment. And we were just sitting back. We were talking about, man, these ladies, these girls, they're just dragging us along. And what's going on? Is this? And we were just talking about the idea of relationship and how, is this really something new? I mean, it feels new to you, but let's be honest with each other. So we were drinking a beer, and we, we wrote that song. And it's not perfect studio quality, but it's got the heart and the emotion that I can listen to and say, man, that's awesome. It's a little embarrassing production-wise, but... As far as hearing the heart of it, that's what I want to do is make music like that, you know. That's yeah. awesome, dude. Thank you. Sometimes it's taken me, and you're right, years to finish a song. Sometimes uh, there was one time where I sat down to write one song, and I wrote it like in an hour. Wow. But uh, there's other songs that, that have taken me years, and I, I, I just I mm. can't think of the right verse. I'll 
go through life or keep going through mm-hmm. life and then a couple of years later i'll be like wait that would be great for that one song so you'll go yeah. back and finish it yeah but yeah man um how many instruments do you play um i mainly play the guitar but since i've been kind of looking at being more creative i've, I've took a couple drum lessons so I play a little bit of drums uh, as you'll see today I'm just gonna play on the drum pad mm-hmm. so you won't really have to see how bad I am so so explain but. a little bit about what you're gonna do today because it's a uh, we've had guys that kind of do a little of what you do but I, I, I feel like you're the only one that's kind of taking it to that next level of like mm-hmm. actually having the different instruments so what, do, what, well, do, what you. are you gonna do um, well we're kind of throwing it together with your help today I wouldn't have been able to oh, fig- no, figure out how it better. all worked um, we're gonna be looping the drum pad which is a Roland hand sonic and I'm using a boomerang looper it's a guy from grapevine um, it's a local product uh, beautiful cost about 500 bucks it's got two channels in two channels out uh, so what you send in is what comes out there's no quantifying there's no fixing it local you mean like like from grapevine Texas Oh, yes. okay. Yep. Texas local. Yeah, cool, local cool. grapevine, Texas. Sorry, it's a big. No, 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 Texas sorry. is a big state. I'm very, I'm very on. I, I don't know a lot of things. Gotcha, gotcha. North of that. Got See, it. how do you know that? Really? Did you know that too? Oh, I don't know. I don't uh, know the Gaylord know Texan. DFW Airport is the main, <laughs> the main attraction. <laughs> well, thanks. I yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I don't. Do know anything besides these these walls, you know? All you need is GPS nowadays. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I need it all the time. I mean, sometimes I need it to get home. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I do too, but I don't look up random places that I'm not going to. No, we're going. <laughs> oh, we're going there? We are. To that spot? We're going to Great Oh, oh. Oh, it's nice space. They're going to have fun. Sure. There's little treasure hunts <laughs> they can go around and hit these little things with the wand and then follow an adventure and there's a... There's a park there. They can swim in indoor. Oh yeah. Indoor uh, water slides. Is there alcohol there? Um, I think with the kids, you'd have to have alcohol for the parents. Because <laughs> there's a lot of kids. There's a lot of kids. That sounds like a great plan. So, so I'm sorry for no rudely problem. interrupted. No right. problem. Places that I haven't. No, I'm just kidding. No problem. Um, Randomness. I'm recording so into the boomerang pedal from Grapevine. Uh huh. And. So yeah, you maybe drop a, a card. <laughs> and as far as, you know, we're just going to be creative today. I'm not going to have any expectations, but my goal is to lay down the beat, uh, record a good verse and chorus that I can sing and play over. And I'll, I'll loop the bass yeah. guitar and I'll loop some uh, some guitar. It's just hard, man. It's, it's really hard. I've always been afraid of the looper. Mm-hmm. It's a fear of mine. I'm afraid that I'm going to like gotta breathe. make an ass out of myself, yeah. first off, because... I'm gonna. It's too much to remember, bro. Like, like hold it down for two seconds, stop it. Yeah, it's got Fuck you it. dancing. Yeah, for sure. it's it's too much, you know. I I, I trip sometimes, and it looks like I got my rock. <laughs> whoa, my rock moves. But I'm really just tripping. So, what what are some of your influences? Um, what do you listen to whenever you're not listening to your own music? Man, I'm all across the board. Um, I like everything from rock, blues, a little bit of country. Um, EDM. I'm I'm all over the place. Santana. Santana. Love Santana. Um, her. Stevie Ray Vaughan. One of my one of my favorites. Um, I grew up pretty random, man. I had um, I had my mom on on one side who was giving me, of course, the gospel tracks, the Christian tracks, and she had to approve my music when I was a kid. So I got to listen to Michael W. Smith, which is a Christian artist, and he was kind of like. I think he just really just emanated the 70s and 80s music and a lot of keyboard, a lot of synth. And then uh, Metallica was one of my first mm-hmm. favorite bands. Um, Listen, of course, to the one, to one. And then the Black Album was my first. Um, really got to immerse myself into that one. There's a lot of people that reference that album. Yeah. Um, can you write that down so we, we can... Uh, thank you. So that we can later... Uh, later. Oh, oh, I thought you were actually going to write it down. I was like, don't write it down. No, okay. No, no you can it's, uh, no, but you can. Please write it down so I can look at it. <laughs> another, another one was uh, Joe Satriani, guitar okay. player. Uh, Steve Vai, Joe Satriani. Love the uh, instrumental guitar players, classical trained. Uh, so I love just about every kind of music for a little while in, in some doses. If you could collaborate with somebody that's uh, famous, who would that person be to, to write a song? If it was your choice. Oh, man. Um, that's the first time we actually write one. something down, by the way. That's a, that's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. To write a song, um, 
I'm really, as far as a songwriter and musician, I really look up to Brendan James. Okay. He's not a, I mean, he might be well known now, but he's always been kind of under under the radar. Piano player. He's kind of like Elton John of today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's Ooh, beautiful. I didn't look that up. Brendan James, it's awesome music. Check it out. If I could sit down and write some tunes, it would be with that guy. Uh, of course, um, not trying to do career suicide or anything, but I, every once in a while, John Mayer would, would be... Um, pretty cool dude to hang out with write some tunes with play some guitar yeah lyrics. man and He's since I, I get accused of him every once in a while so it's dangerous to mention, I've heard, I've mention heard an artist yeah that yeah, you yeah. Might. i've heard that his newer stuff is pretty good now i'm like the, the last the last i heard of john mayer was like continuum yeah which is like a, a lot albums. of years yeah yeah he's ago. got some history since then i haven't followed him real closely but i admire his spectrum and if you like diversity man i mean, I mean he's, he's a badass he's hitting like pop, blues, blues, oh yeah, like all kinds of different genre, uh, even jazzy stuff from and originally when he first started out. And, yeah. What is one venue? How long have you been in Houston, by the way? I've uh, been in Houston for two years now. And you've been gigging around town. Yes, sir. And okay, so what is one venue that you haven't played at that you'd like to play at? Oh man, in Houston, I don't know, man. I'm I've been kind of jumping on the. Uh, Piggybacking with Gary Kyle and Will Carter, they're artists here in Dallas, and I've been playing Firehouse, do si do The Rustic. Uh, those are fun venues. Um, I don't really know of any that I'd... Not play that. Would you recommend any? Uh, I mean, I know a lot of places, but what is one, day that, what is one that you'd like to get in? You don't, you don't know of any others that you haven't... No, not off the top of okay. my head. I okay. mean, House of Blues here. I love House of Blues in Dallas. Beautiful there. Never, you play there I've before? never been the to one Blues? here. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What about, uh, have you played at White Oak? Never have. Mm, okay, maybe we can. But you, you're leaving, right? You're leaving Houston. Everything's up in the air. Oh, okay. Everything's up in the air. I'm, okay. I'm glad to be here today, and that's all yeah. I know. I'm going <laughs> from here to here. And uh, the next step, okay. I'm not sure, man. I've, I've got a couple ideas. I literally sold my uh, vehicle on the way here to put towards another vehicle that I'm going to use um, for A, B, or I'm going to buy um, rent a U-Haul on Tuesday and use that to move to the next location. So, oh, wow, man. And um, Arizona is on the on the radar. That's where I came from. It's where my family's at, my grandparents, my aunt and uncle, my cousins. And I miss them all. I've been out here 25 years doing my own thing. And so it might be time to head home for a little while. Arizona is the state next to Texas, right? All right. It's, all right. So it's so, a couple <laughs> over. It might be so, a couple over. Yeah. Okay. New, New Mexico, <laughs> Arizona. <laughs> So it's New Mexico, then Arizona, right? Yeah, yeah. New Mexico is beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to point that out. <laughs> my my dad lives up north in Arizona, which is right on the border of New Mexico. That's where I, I spent like uh, maybe six years. It's beautiful, up. Yeah. like in that area, dude. Man, when the I was mountains? a kid, yeah. Right, there's mountains there, right? When I, I was a kid, there. they didn't give me Ritalin until I was in high school because I was as a kid I could run into the forest for miles and miles and miles and hit trees. My mom would ask, like, where are all my broomsticks going? Because back then, you could screw them, you could, like, unscrew them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I watched Conan the Barbarian, and I would just be, like, beef myself up, <laughs> and I would yeah. just run into the forest and hit trees. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was, like, the best time of my life, man. Living on the Indian Reservation, just beautiful nature. Like, you'd see um, dams, otters, uh, canyons where, where guys, you know, you hear the stories of where dudes would drive their car and play chicken and drive mm -hmm. off a canyon. No. And so, like, what? say... Uh, I don't know, man. I think it was like a 60s thing. But like I said, me and you were in a car and we're, we're driving. There's a cliff there. We, we go as fast as we can. And the last person to stop wins. Oh, hell no. So if you drive I've seen the, that in movies. I've yeah, seen that in movies. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I've yeah, heard yeah. about it in movies. But as a kid, I, I got to go and like check out this craziness. It was, it was a beautiful way to grow up. Um, White River was the name of the, the place. Would Mc, you ever do Mc that? Nary. Uh, no, no. Nah. I'll let you win. <laughs> yeah, I'm nah. not that competitive. <laughs> so, uh, do you have any music that, are you working on some new music? Um, I've got a ton of songs I've started and like five of them that I want to record this year. Mm -hmm. And that's the goal. And I'm where can people listen to your music right now online? I remember we're, we were just streaming. Yeah. By the way, that music that y'all were hearing, if you watch this later or you're watching right now, 
Uh, that was him. That's pretty cool, man. Thank you, man. Like the music. We were streaming it from Bandcamp.com, and uh, David Cote is the name. You mm -hmm. can just literally Google David Cote Bandcamp, and you'll see two albums. There's a Ten Till, which is ten songs on a full-length CD. It's got a couple extra, like five bonus songs, and then there's actually a Christmas album my mom asked me to record. I did see that. And it's I really embarrassing, that. but I leave it up there anyway because... My Why is it embarrassing? My voice was really pure. Oh, okay. You know, like, like, <laughs> not like a monk or anything, but it's embarrassing. Uh, but castrato like? It's, I don't just check it out if you want to embarrass me, but yeah, albums are like pictures, you know, like you, you get an old family photo and you see a picture of yourself and you're like, man, what was I thinking? <laughs> right? Yeah, so yeah, to yeah, me, yeah, albums yeah. and songs are similar. You, you take a picture and it's a snapshot and, and whether you're proud of it or not, that's what it is. And you've got to accept that as a time in your life that you did that. Yeah, you know, so. there's a lot of uh, songs that I've recorded on YouTube that I've made private. Yeah, <laughs> I've got some as well. <laughs> Lots of those. So don't go look for them, my guys. <laughs> um, what where can people find you on social media? Um, MySpace, David Cote Band is one outlet. Um, Instagram would be David Cote Music. C-O-T-E, that's Cote. David Cote Music. And I'm going to try to simplify and make everything David Cote music. Um, you can email me at davidcotemusic uh, at gmail.com. And that's pretty much it. I had a website that's kind of falling by the wayside right now. Mm -hmm. You know, and just taking advantage of Facebook and Instagram, and I'll rebuild from there. So. And, and do you have a full band? Well, I got a bunch of guys I love playing with, but it's been a while. They're in Dallas, and we were hitting Trees. Trees is one of my favorite venues to play down there in Deep Ellum. And uh, we were playing there like every month or every other month and uh, really having a great time. And we had a rehearsal space in Dallas. We were, we were paying seven fifty for this room and we'd all pitch in for it and practice every Wednesday. And uh, just it was a great time, man. But it uh, seemed like everybody kind of got married. You know, congratulations, guys. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it changed it changed the dynamic of, <laughs> yeah, of the of band course. for sure. And so. Um, I've been kind of doing the solo duo trio. Trio is my favorite recently. I've been really a like, uh, drummer and a bass player. Well, once you get your trio, if you want to bring them over here, okay. we'd love to have you. Awesome, man. Thank and you. the full band, tell you those dudes that even though they're married, it's okay to play music. All right. That's what I say, man. <laughs> like, if your if wife will let you. If she don't let you, then yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Somebody made <laughs> not a wise choice. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I try to stay out of that side of the opinions <laughs> nah I, I like to give my what's opinion what's funny is that all the girls came to me and they're like hey I want, I want to know more about so and so and I'm like and I I, I, oh, ripped, before, I ripped him a new that's how like, they reeled him in I, I gave like the worst scenario possible I was like okay listen what he does okay this is gonna be <laughs> do, 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 you, do you know and I tried like don't get with this guy I tried, he, he tried, he tried I tried and then like a month later it's like engaged maybe, maybe, oh, maybe like man. maybe like maybe it was your fault they were like ooh a bad boy <laughs> it was something, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe they like those I tried bad to boys. turn her away, just like, hey, man. He's just not, never know, man. He's an oddball. Yeah. <laughs> well, but it's no, a pleasure to have you here, man. Thank, thank you, thank you for thank you. Uh, making the effort. Yeah, thanks for having me. And um, on a Sunday, on a Sunday, guys. Thank you for being here on a Sunday. So I'm gonna send a couple of shout outs. Uh, Kevin Hamlin. Uh, I don't know if you know Kevin Hamlin. He does a Tune Out Cancer Fest here in Houston. All the proceeds go to uh, to Texas Children's Hospital for for children with cancer. Mm -hmm. So this year, it was at the Wildcatter Saloon. Um, he's doing great things. If you're looking to to gig around, mm -hmm. Kevin Hamlin. That's a good name to remember. Okay. I want to send you. a shout out to Ivan Oropesa with Rock Animal. Every Wednesday here, we have a Spanish rock concert. Um, they're one of our partners. Uh, we get bands from all over the state. Um, so we've dedicated that day for just Spanish rock music. Um, we like to help out all genres and all languages. You know, we've had a, a Russian singer, an Ukrainian singer. And so you have a very diverse group, man. I've, I've looked at probably 10 or so of your videos, and every group is amazing. They're talented, very diverse. A lot of reggae, some yeah, rock. Man, man I'm, I'm Everything, man. Yeah. Everything. We're, we're very talented. blessed that there's a lot of bands that are are kind enough to, to share their talent with us. So another guy that I want to send a shout out to is uh, Severo Brown with KPFT. He's where he's, an, he's a radio show host um, for KPFT. What's what's their number? Their, I don't know what their number is. But uh, KPFT, um, no, no, not their, their radio station number. Not their, uh, 
90 oh it's 90 point oh 90.1 with kpft um i thought uh, yeah i guess the same thing same radio station different guy though so 90.1 fm um that guy severo brown he's just a badass dude he's one of our partners and uh he uh he he's working on our merch right now he he he's gonna be watching this later but uh we're starting a new show on sundays which is gonna be uh all zona libre which means like the the free zone so we're gonna be showcasing all types of music on that day you know spanish uh you know from cumbia norteño merengue salsa rock reggae everything but he's gonna he's one of our partners and so he's uh i love showcasing um artist with him here he's just a great interviewer man shout out to severo brown look him up sona libre uh look him up on facebook hank lamb also with 90.1 he's another person that may i don't know if you know any of these guys reach i mean they all watch this show so if you're looking to do some radio interviews uh fm stations uh, i can get you in two of those so uh because they're gonna love what you do man i love what you do and i just freaking met you thank you and uh hank lamb he always always given us good advice uh since the beginning since we started six months ago and so uh also westone audio our sponsor for in-ears which you're using them right now um i like them i think they're awesome um if you're looking for in-ears guys Very comfortable sounds great go to their website and type in the code that you see on the screen rr studio 15 should be right there uh right there on the screen it's red and so it'll give you a 15 percent discount um and so if you're if you're watching this now or in the future on on YouTube, guys, hit that subscribe button. Um, we want to grow and we want to we want to showcase more musicians around town and and just just support the music scene, man. And so we're getting a lot of support from the bands and a lot of support from the fans of the bands. Thank you for all the support. Uh, if you're watching on Facebook, go look up David Cote with um, follow him, like him. He's got cool music, guys. Um, share this video. It's free to share. Social media is free, guys. It doesn't cost you anything. In fact, you have a you have a phone in your hands already. Most of the people do, or an iPad, or so. Just hit that hit that share button. There's like a live watch party or something. It's 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 all live. Come on, but there's they can share it. Like I just yeah, noticed they that they can also. I'm really slow yeah. technology, so yeah, everybody can share it and stuff okay. like that, man. That's yeah. above my. So guys, if you're uh, if you're watching on a watch party. Give us a like, uh, R&R Studio. We do this seven days a week, sometimes nine days a week. No, nine times a week, not nine days we a week. We knew what you meant. Those I mean, are special I, weeks. Uh, yeah. There might be mushrooms involved on those weekends. <laughs> there might be. Not, not in a while, though, which I kind of miss it. But, uh, but, uh, but eventually. <laughs> no, but eventually. I <laughs> but eventually. Bit. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, if you're watching on Twitter, guys, uh, don't do shrooms. If you're watching on Twitter, guys, I don't, I don't condone it, unless they're mine. So if you're watching on Twitter, retweet this of this event. See, my Mexican accent is coming out. <laughs> These, this event. If you're watching on Twitch, uh, put the games down. Give your brain some music to 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 absorb. And and if if you're if you're gonna do it for any show. This is the show, man, because this music, I was listening to you, bro. And it was just very peaceful, man. Your Thank voice you. is very calming, very soothing. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, if anybody's listening now, uh, request some songs. If you know any of my yes. old original stuff, um, even if it's been a while, I'll give it a shot. I might have to make up new words for the second verse. That's type fine, of thing, man. But Nobody we'll, will know. We'll run with it. And uh, we're just trying to have a good time here. Guys, thank you for tuning in on your Sunday. Thank you for making time for thank us on your right. Sunday. Um, we're going to take a minute break. He's going to go into the booth. And we'll get the show started. We'll still be chatting back and forth. Um, thank you, guys. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right.
check one two guys thank you for watching thank you for tuning in on this sunday we have david cote in the studio uh we can see into the booth he's right there guys he's getting ready he's getting ready so i'm gonna put myself in his screen right there he won't see me but i know that i'm there um so i want to send a shout out to midas um for making this board um midas one day i expect oh yeah i forgot we're no, we don't have drums today but we do have guitars actually we do have drums but uh senor uh senor david will be controlling everything he will be playing everything guys um it's a it's a you guys are in for a treat and remember to share this event guys share this um it, it's free and, and this guy is a badass so uh so i'm just excited that y'all get to listen to him and i'm excited that i get to actually listen to a bunch of his tunes today uh we want to send a shout out to taylor guitars uh shout out to to everything that might be able to sponsor me one day shout out to new zealand <laughs> over here um new zealand new zealand seems to be a pretty badass place to to go and huh noosa, noosa? And Queensland, yeah. those are all pretty badass places yeah awesome one day one day when i can afford to go <laughs> one day after you go past alex after what after the what oh my after my oh yeah yeah well i do want to do that as well too uh it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun hanging out with the kids uh i i love hanging out with my kids they're pretty cool but um let's see oh shit oh, <laughs> I think you would kill some of my neurons, bro. Oh. Uh. <laughs> but it's all right, man. We're live, so uh, so that that's the beauty of being live. You get to murder my ears. Oh, you heard that? <laughs> I felt Ouch. that. I felt that. <laughs> I was like, ah. Uh. But it's okay, dude. No worries. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so getting this tuner. Oh, did, does, is that, does, does, that, does that one work or no? I have another yep. one that works. Over, it, it works? Yes, sir. Oh, shit. Looks good. Looks good. I have another one over here. People just leave me those tuners here, man, nice. all the time. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's hard for me to that. it's hard for me to figure out whose they are because I always find them like like three or four days later. And I'm like, and by then we've had like five or six musical acts already here. So Diego is watching. Diego is a supporter of music. All right. So, um. Diego, mad love to you, brother. Um, and we hope to see you here soon, man. He's about to go on tour. So look up King Baby Familia, guys. Another great band from Houston. Local band. King Baby Familia. Top. Uh, it's like fusion reggae. Awesome stuff, man. He's doing great things. Diego is doing great things. Uh, so, uh, hold on. There you go. We're, I think we're on right now. Can you hear, your, can you hear everything on the in-ears? Yes, sir. All right, man. So when, while we're ready, man, whenever you're ready... We're 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 gonna make ourselves our ears available for your for your great music. All right, one moment. No, you're good, man. What kind of guitar is that? This is actually custom made Tom Anderson out of California. Oh yeah. Yep. What's yeah. what's her name? Uh, actually, my uncle bought this for me. Oh yeah? yeah. Did you did you name it? Oh, I didn't name. I'm sorry. I thought you were like, what girl bought you that? <laughs> no, no, no. You can't afford that guitar. What are you talking about? No, man. I always name, <laughs> name my guitars. I never thought of it. You never thought of naming your guitar? It would be something like Betty Lou or something silly. <laughs> it's all good, man. Betty Lou. Cassandra. Is... Cassandra. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> cool, man. Well, we're very excited to listen to your music. I could use a mimosa right now, though. A so, mimosa? Yeah, I like mimosas. I do. Some mojitos. Some mojitos. Some tequila. Just anything. Okay. Cool, man. So you're alive, man. People are watching. So. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to start with an original. This one's nothing without you.
Sometimes I get a little crazy Thinking that I Could do everything on my own But then I see my world's falling The shattered I'm broken Could you leave me back home Cause I know That I'm nothing Nothing without you All I know is that I'm nothing Nothing without you Damn, dude. That was really good. Thank you. I really enjoy that, man. Oh, echo, echo. That was that was super dope, man. That's not easy what you just did. That's super hard, man. And Thank you. Bro. Maybe maybe one day when I grow up, man, I can be like you. Maybe one day, man. I won't maybe I won't be afraid of the looper. The looper is like my biggest fear, man. I'm afraid that this is going to make an ass out of myself. <laughs> Well, if you do, it just happens over and over again for only about five minutes long. Right? It's only five minutes of hell. Has that ever happened to you, yeah, man? Yeah, because you miss, like, the, the last beat's rushed or it's too too <laughs> slow, and then it, you got to wait for it every time. So you're off yeah, every yeah, time yeah, unless yeah, you remember yeah. it's off. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is, What's yeah. funny is it kind of falls into a groove, though. Even if it's a little bit off, it settles into this groove, and then eventually it just kind of feels okay. <laughs> you're hoping that that whatever you're playing over it will like will kind of cover the mistake, you know? Yep. I'm not willing to take that risk. 
You have balls. I don't. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, man, I'm already having some fun. Yeah, man. It sounds great, man. We're excited to have you here. Just keep going? Yeah, dude. Absolutely. The show All is right. yours, man. So, so I've never recorded this next song. It's called Burnout. And um, I like it because it's just real simple. Got a little reggae feel to it. And it's easy because I can make up words. And, uh, well, awesome, dude. Hope you like it. Our love, you burn out bright. We watch it burn up through the night. We won't go down without a fight. You ask if it's wrong, but you know I'm right. Damage is done, you can't manage to run and run 
down, I burn out bright We watch it burn all through the night We won't go down without a fight We watch it for out tonight So watch me now, don't act like you stuff man that's a great song what's the name of that song man thank you burnout that is a great song man oh yeah my friend uh, my good friend uh, joe serrano is watching from uh up, from from in disguise a uh, great band uh in town and ojos rojos uh also uh my brother-in-law serrato i'm sorry serrato john Sir- joe serrato and uh, Justin Patrick Phillips, my brother-in-law, who's another awesome vocalist, man, songwriter. He's watching you, man. They're giving What's you up, guys? good comments, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. Joe Serrato, that sounds like a famous name. He is famous. I've heard that somewhere. He's famous in my heart. <laughs> nah, he's, he, everybody knows that guy, man. He's, he's well-known around town. He plays with like, like eight different bands. He has his own band, and it's always a pleasure to to talk to those guys man awesome man thanks for hanging out gentlemen yeah man do we have any friends that are asking for any requests or anything i don't know man everybody's yeah. still at church everybody's still everybody's at church still man hung over come on everybody's at? at church over everybody's trying hung to over at church one more day one more day i'm gonna save one more day for two songs away from here <laughs> just for you cool man make you wait cool man Ready for a smoke? Yeah, of course, man. Awesome. Got a lot of chords back here, man. I keep trying not to trip when I switch. (laughs) I know I saw that. (laughs) But it's it's okay, man. Sometimes to make great things, you have to trip. Just get right back up. (laughs) All right, let's try this. See what you're talking about?
apology I can't change what you see If you want to make believe I'm rolling past the pain now I take one from the pain now I'm wondering what you gain my Is it all the feel now? Is there something new now? I can't pick what I choose now I'm begging for the truth But I, I can't see past what I assume I took one in the garden I give you all of me when I Let it go to see now Is there something new and I I can't pick what I choose I, I'm begging for the truth But I, I can't see past what I assume I've held it in my hand for so long and so tight. I hope it blows away. Well, is there something new? I, I can't pick what I choose. I'm, I'm begging for the truth, but I, is this what I assume? Is this something new? What you confuse If I let go or will I lose Every single part of me you try to soothe It's what you choose What you choose That's it Yeah man Cool tune man Thank you brother Yeah man That one's a lot more fun With a three piece Oh <laughs> I mean you're doing An excellent job man thank you, thank It's you. it's not easy To build up a song Like that man Woo Just so scared That looper man <laughs> It has to be like like a looper where I could like be perfect every time, but I know that it's not one, you know. You know, I think with Ableton, there's gonna be somebody that puts two and two together, and it's like some AI, some AI, some badass AI yeah, technology. Man. It's gotta be somebody like you and a DJ yeah. meets with the guitar player, and y'all sit down and understand how to flow those <laughs> li live tracks and loop them, quantize them somehow. Yeah, Keep them like like on the spot, like yeah. like slowly, like not too fast, yeah. But like slowly, like every time it goes around, like quantize little mm. by little, you know. Yeah. Hmm. There's gotta be an algorithm for that. 
But all you have to do is just come up with the algorithm, patent the algorithm, and sell the algorithm. What's that saying? It says sometimes you get lucky, but the more you practice, the more you get lucky. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Without practice, you can't. It's true. Depending on that technology. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, really. Really, we shouldn't. We should just get better at doing shit. <laughs> and not try to, like, make something to make it better. So Jennifer Calhoun asked me, hey, Roger, who you got here today? This is David Cote, and he is awesome, guys. Check him out. If you if you just uh, hopped on, David Cote, he's he's awesome. He's he's like taking the looping to the next level. He's looping various instruments. And uh, uh, Pamela Mary, she she's watching. Hey, she, Pamela. You know Pamela? Yeah, she says, David, and she put a, a high five, guitar, fire, and music emojis. I'm not sure what that means, but let's just say it's positive. Thing. It's positive. Right. It's not like poison and needles and, and a gun or something <laughs> like that, you know what I'm saying? That's skull. These are all the skull. <laughs> there you go. These are all positive things, man. And so, uh, so, yes, guys, if you're just watching, David Cote is in the studio. Look him up. We'll have tons of videos uh, on him on the YouTube channel. And just go look him up, man. He's a good guy to know. Cool, man. What you got for us next? All right. I'm going to do, uh, by request, One More Day. Awesome, man. It's on the 10 album track. It's available on bandcamp.com. Uh, Pamela says that you rock, by the way. Pamela Mary. Thank you, Pamela. And so Jennifer Calhoun, she accidentally deleted her message. And so then she wrote, oh. oops, didn't mean to delete my comment. Uh, hey there, David. Looking forward to hear what you got. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you came back. We're, we're definitely glad. And share this video, guys. Share it. Make sure his music gets spread. Make sure David Cote gets known. Make sure he picks up a lot of gigs and, and is famous one day. See, I just went from like zero <laughs> to a million right there. You snuck, you snuck that in <laughs> I there, I snuck man. that in there, dude. I, I'm going me. all the way to the okay. top, man. No holding back here. No regrets. I guess I'll be ready. No room for half measures. Let's do it. All right, here we go. This one's called One More Day.
it took was just one heartbeat for one heartache. Just took one breath to take my breath away. Just took one smile, one kiss, one chance. And the one I miss One tear And one wish To know you I know you One more day One more day To know you I know you One more day One day All it took was I just one step For me to fall It took one dream I woke up again and I lost it all Cause it happened too fast In one moment in time And it took way too long Turn my head just for a minute And now you're gone, gone, gone To know you, know you One more day, one more day To know you, know you One more day, day. Oh, indeed I never can
Hell yeah, dude. dude that was super Thank awesome, you. man. Thank you. Dude, I love that song. I love that song. Appreciate by, it, buddy. By the way, man, uh, shout out to George Thomas, amazing bass player. Had a gig with him last night. By the way, Jennifer Calhoun, who uh, she promotes music here in Houston. She loves it. She loves the loops. She loves what you're doing. Uh, great vocals. And she asked a question. She says, do you have any social media pages, preferably Facebook? I'd like to find out more about you and your music. Definitely, you've got her interest. Awesome. So uh, would you show tell us what your social media is again for yep. everybody to hear? Sure, sure. David Cote, that's C-O-T-E, band. That's my Facebook handle. So David Cote Band is my page there. And then Instagram is David Cote Music. Awesome. Well, Jennifer... Awesome. You heard it here. Reach out to them. And by the way, I've been seeing a lot more of that water around. Uh, it's pretty cool. Yep. <laughs> We're, uh, it works. Are you sponsored by them? No, I, I pay way too much for that. <laughs> way too much for that. More than I do any other luxury in my life. <laughs> yeah, man. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I didn't pay for my water. It was given to me for free. I, it's a little pricey for me. Fucking... Re, uh, fridge. I was gonna say restroom water for me. I <laughs> no. would take a. I would take a sponsorship of water though. Hell yeah. Better than some whiskey sponsorship. I mean, my my career might last a little longer if I do water. Yeah, man. Yeah, then then you'd be like <laughs> kid friendly and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Taking it to the next level. Yeah, man. Dude, that Thank was a great song, man. What was the name you. of that last tune? Uh, one more day. One more day, dude. That was awesome. Thank loved you. it. Thank you. Loved the harmonies. Loved the. Loved all the stacking. Loved the the your delay on that during the falsetto was just super cool, man. Thank you, brother. Super cool, super cool sounding, man. Let's see. I made a list of a couple songs. I might have a couple more. Yeah, also, awesome, dude. Got time? Yeah, dude, we got time. Okay. Definitely, we don't have our, our next band getting here until 5 p.m. Who's, so who's coming in tonight? Oh, tonight is oh shoot, hold on. Uh, We it's supposed to, it's supposed to be a good band. No, they're all the bands that come through here are good. Let me let me see. Hold on, hold on. I should know this. Uh, so we have that devil, the truth coming tonight. That devil, the truth. Um, very cool band, man. I heard their 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 stuff they sent me and it's good. So by the way, Brittany Matthews. Hey Brittany, is watching. Hey Brittany. No, Brittany Matthews is watching. This is my favorite person in the world. Uh, I guess she's referring to me, her favorite person in the world. Of course. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Brittany, thank you. Thank you for watching, guys. Guys, if you're watching our channel for the first time, subscribe. Hit that like button, guys. It is important to us to know that you like what we are doing. Um, by the way, Jennifer Calhoun just sent you an ad, a friend request. Awesome. So make sure you add her, guys. Make sure you get uh, you get uh, David Cote. Uh, To perform uh, at South by Southwest. Oh, but not this year because it got canceled. Ah, uh, maybe next year, bro. Next year. Main Lo stage. Love is in the air. You had headlining it. Headlining it, bro. Yep. Awesome, guys. So what you got for us next, man? All right. This is a song that I have not recorded yet. It's pretty simple, but I like it. It's kind of catchy. And it's called Stay. Cool, man. I love it already.
But people been asking around They say they seen us together We ask for what that's about See we're changing like the weather I say we're hoping for something better now You won a million A shooting star that fly We finally caught my eye I guess we should give it a try Something I mean to ask you There's Something I want to say I don't know where you've been But have you ever really want to stay? I don't even know where you're going But how will you know when you get there? I guess it'll feel like home I think you're gonna wanna stay Excuses always trying to hide I know cause I've been doing it my whole life It might be time to stay It might be time to fly Or just grow my roots high Or grow my roots high Something I'm meaning to ask you Something I want to say I don't know where I've been But I don't ever really want to say
Yeah. yeah. Woo. Thank you. Damn, that was hot. Appreciate it, man. That was that's good, bro. Thank you. Thank you. You uh, you're definitely a talent. Oof. That needs to be heard. That's good, man. That you know what was always another one of my fears while looping, man? Endings. Like, I'm like, what if, like, I end and something just, like, keeps going, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I need to, I need to, I need to grow some, you know? <laughs> just, just, well, just, just, just little ones at least. You just got to flow with it because, I mean, I'm overactive, so sometimes my foot hits it on accident and it'll stop the verse or it'll stop the beat. And then I just got to think, okay, well, that will sound okay if it comes back in in three measures. You know, you kind of got to hear yeah, where, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you kind of readjust. And sometimes you got to start it all over, like I did a few songs ago. Yeah, yeah, but, but you know, that's that's uh, that's cool, man. I I appreciate I appreciate what you're doing, man. Thank you. It's like you have to be so much more there than if you were just performing. You know what I'm saying? Like sure. you have to you have to know where you are on the. You have to know. I I, you know what? I need a camera to like point down at your setup because it's. I used to do that. I used to put another oh, camera. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's it's pretty cool how much you how many pedals you're surrounded by, and uh, just to know what all of them do, what the looping is, and that's just scary. It's just scary to me, man. I'll just stick to playing the saxophone. Nice, you got me beat there. <laughs> cool, man. Well, very excited, man. I'm excited about this next song. What's what's the name of this next song? Ooh, that sounds very familiar. This song I wrote on the way over here. It's called Africa. Oh, <laughs> oh, that sounds very familiar. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to do Before the Dawn. It's another original song. Awesome, dude. Well, we're excited to hear it, brother.
mama breathing in We will laugh again And the sun sets tonight And then Such a good song, man. Such a badass song. Thank you, kind sir. Woo. And uh, I'm not the only one. Julia Vernon says, so good. Thank you, Julia Vernon. Thank you for watching. Man, that, that was you. dope, man. That was a good song. Where can I go listen to that online, man? Besides here now. It's um, it's that's at the bandcamp.com, uh, David Cote. And so if you Google search David Cote, Bandcamp, you'll probably see me right away. It's got two albums, one called Ten Till, and one's a Christmas album, so you're ahead for Christmas presents if you go now. <laughs> and if you don't like the CD, you can actually hang the CDs as ornaments. <laughs> so it's multi-purpose. Yeah, dude, that's, 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 that's good marketing, man, right there. Thank you, sir. You should, you should, make, you should have made the album. Oh, did you make like an ornament? Like, is it, does it look like Christmassy? Well, yeah, the, the Christmas one does. Oh, cool, yeah. yeah. Well, awesome. they both kind of do, but. Awesome, dude. Dude, that was a great song, man. Thanks, Mike. I know I keep saying it, but it was dope, man. What you got What you got for us next? Okay, so um, any requests for anything online? Originals? Anybody? No, man. I don't know. I don't, nothing, know, nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't know your originals, or I would request well, Let's them. see here. I think I could do a cover, and we could be done for the yeah, day. Yeah, man. If you want to do cool. that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Out. I was thinking Out of My Head is a fun song. I, I, heard, like I heard Africa. Africa. <laughs> Was was one that's been requested for a yes. while. Yes. Okay. Right, right, right. And all the, with every part. Okay. Looped. This, this one is one of my favorite covers that I do, over the last few years. This one's uh, Chris Isaac's "Wicked Game." Cool, man. Well, I'm excited because I'm not heard it yet. So. Oh, you'll recognize it. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I think so. I don't think so, but. It's okay. I'm like, so like, not. Nah, and to listen to other people's music because I always only listen to the bands that are here that are here. Gotcha. And so this is all besides like doing shows, this has all been very educational for me, you know. But cool man, I'm excited about it.
Strange what desire will make foolish people do I never dreamed that I'd meet somebody like you Can I have heard that? I think, pretty sure. Dude, I had a great time, man. Me too, brother. Thanks so much for having Dude, me. Dude, this was again, so man. awesome, man. This was just, your music is beautiful, bro. You it's, made my year so far, brother. Woo! Thank you. That's awesome. You've made my first part of my Sunday. <laughs> your Sunday. <laughs> so awesome, dude. This is the best Sunday morning I've had. Oh yeah. All day. Don't, don't be lying, bro. All day long. All day long. All day long so far. You know what could have made my day better? A mimosa. Oh man, we could have ordered some DoorDash. They, don't, they won't bring me Moses, will they? Yeah. No I way. Don't, I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll have to check. Maybe no. a favor. Dude, but it's great, man. I had a great time. Thank Everybody you, look look him up, man. Check him out. David Cote, look him up. Um, follow him. Like him. Send him messages. Get him booked. Share his music. Uh, make him famous. Make him get a, 
The Grammy? Yeah, bro. Going all the way to the Grammys this time. All right, man. But it's been a pleasure, man. Dude, enjoy your Sunday. Uh, we hope to see you here you. in the not-too-distant future. And uh, I just wish you the best, man. Thank you, man. You too. You okay. wish you the best. And uh, I know you're going to... I know you're going to do good things, man. Do good things and go far. Guys, enjoy your day. Uh, thank you for being here. It's a pleasure. Our lovely guests over here. Guys, uh, enjoy your enjoy your weekend and be safe. If you drink, don't get behind the wheel. Stay safe. Um, hydrate. Hydrate. Uh, essen- was that essential? What does that say? Essentia. Overpriced. Oh, no. Overachieving. Sorry. Overachieving <laughs> H2O. Awesome, guys. All right, guys. Thank you very much. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe, share, share this video, guys. Thank you very much. Have a great day and enjoy your life.